All right, we're going to divide complex numbers. And of course, complex numbers are in the form of A plus BI. A is the real part, BI is the imaginary part, B is a real number, and I equals the square root of minus 1. And we cannot forget that I squared equals minus 1. And we'll need that to simplify our final answers. Okay, so let's take a look at a question like, 2 plus 3i divided by 4 minus 2i. Okay, now the only way we can solve this is to, we need to multiply that expression by the conjugate of the denominator, which is simply the same two terms with an opposite sign. So it's 4 plus 2i. Okay, we have 4 minus 2i, so the conjugate is 4 plus 2i. Now, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by 4 plus 2i. 4 plus 2i divided by 4 plus 2i is 1. So it's not changing the value of the expression, but it is going to help us get rid of the i in the denominator. We'll see here in a second. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have... 2 plus 3i multiplied by 4 plus 2i in the numerator, and 4 minus 2i multiplied by 4 plus 2i in the denominator. Okay, so let's solve the top first. We're going to use the same distributive properties that we would normally in algebra. We're going to distribute the 2 with both the 4 and the plus 2i, and we're going to distribute the 3i with both the 4 and the plus 2i. So we're going to do it step by step here. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2i is plus 4i. Now we're going to distribute the 3i. Plus 3i times 4 is plus 12i. Plus 3i times plus 2i is plus 6i squared. And now we're going to solve the bottom. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to distribute the 4 with the 4 and the plus 2i. We're going to distribute the minus 2i with the 4 and with the 2i. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times plus 2i is plus 8i. Minus 2i, we're going to distribute that now. Minus 2i times 4 is minus 8i. Minus 2i times plus 2i is minus 4i squared. Okay, So now we're going to simplify this a little bit. We're going to see here that plus 8i minus 8i, those are going to cancel. Um, we can put the plus 4i and the plus 12i together in the numerator. We're going to solve that. And now the i squared and the i squared as we mentioned before, we're going to exchange those for minus 1s. Okay? So let's simplify that. Equals. Um, at, on the top, we have 8. Plus 4i plus 12i is plus 16i. And we have plus 6 times minus 1. On the, in the denominator, we have 16 minus 4 times minus 1, because we're going to exchange that i squared for minus 1. Okay? Let's keep going here. We have 8 plus 16i. Plus 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. And on the bottom, we have 16 minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4. Okay? Now we can put the... 8 and the minus 6 together up here. So we have 2 plus 16i over 20. Okay. And now we need to create some more room here. So 2 plus 16i over 20. 
2 plus 16i over 20. We need to put this in a plus bi form, okay? So we can separate um, that into two small fractions. We can make that 2 over 20 plus 16i over 20. Okay, we can simplify that a little bit farther. Um, 2 over 20 is the same thing as 1 over 10 plus 16 over 20 can be simplified to 4 over 5. Okay. And that is our final answer. 1 tenth is, represents A, the real part. 4 fifths I represents the imaginary part, B, I.